the feral beast of yoke and the boy. Hey everybody, welcome to our stand at Lama. This is Jeremy, it's been a year or two since we've seen you, he met up with us. Been a while. Tuck Wells, he used to work um, places I've worked in the past, 20, 30 years, that's how old we're getting, but he scooted up today, just in set up day to see us at Lama, so we're going a wee walk round now, so we're going to go a wee walk round Lama and see what is there. I finally got my screen working. Do you know I lost I two days of my life trying to get that to work? <laughs> I'm not joking. So how's the farm, Jeremy? It's been a while. Oh, it's been a while, yeah. What, what was that, Tuck Wells, one, two, three, four years? Gosh, that must be three years ago. Three now, years ago, we're at Tuck Wells. So oh, right, he's... we're in Hall 19, so right beside us is Teagle. Um, some of you will maybe have seen the video where I was down and took a walk around the factory. I was absolutely blown away by the level of professionalism these guys were putting out there. Their, their paint system was absolutely mint. Cramp stands here, I do believe Tom Pemberton and a few different ones is doing meet and greets here, which is literally right beside us as well. And then you come to the Crone stand. They put some money into this. Oh they? boy, they've, they have put effort in here now. But this is the highlight for me in the Crone stand, the new Swadro TC. How many rotors? 1570. That? That's four rotor. Four rotor. But it's their biggest. Four rotor. 15.7 meters. Just look at the tires on it, Gareth. Yeah. She has to be. That baby there has to have a bit of weight behind it, like. There must be 90 grand sitting in that, is there? <laughs> I would dread to think. I think it's maybe another year before we're going to see. Uh, lots of it uh, hitting the actual but the crone rakes now a lot of people are big fans look at this big wheel at the front of it she's made for the irish conditions <laughs> <laughs> there's the job here boys there's well this must be the you can get a free here look at that hey that there's not a bad old controller well we probably can put them on and listen to you about it yeah. uh, we'll be all right so we have different controllers here. That sits to the hand nice. I'm afraid of hitting the button here in case it starts <laughs> lifting now. Well, the goes up. <laughs> <laughs> but that is, that's, that's big. Oh, what have you pressed? Nothing. Just beeping away. I blame whoever that is over I'll give you an idea now, Gareth. Me being six foot six. Say six foot. Six foot minus four inches. <laughs> four inches. <laughs> Six foot minus four and a half inches, if we're being correct. <laughs> <laughs> I like the effort these guys put into this stand. They definitely go on. Every on year. There. 1180 sitting there. But Lama's really good this year, and I know we haven't got a lot of time to go around at all, but JCB's back, New Holland's back, and uh, Case are in their own stand, they traditionally would have joined in with um, Bedner the last two, three years and had a bit of a stand with them. So we'll go down this way here. That's the 11, that's the flagship, isn't that it? That is the baby there. The V12. <clears throat> last year these guys did up a, was it a 6, 9, 10? Well, it's a typical John Deere. Have a look under the back end of it. And they've, um, <laughs> this year they've brought, um, they've, they've worked in this restoration project here. 49.55 wide step. Ah, just the rubber goes in and touches it, hey. That's the, no funny minds, isn't the wide step? I always thought it's a wide step I would like with the exhaust. Yeah, yeah. Down the far side and out. Would that have come out of America? Oh, they were all made in America. Yeah, My 47, yeah, all would have been made in America. But I think that was the concept. They were trying to get away from the square in, the square entrance of going up then through the cab yeah. It's a much nicer, in. it's a much nicer angle in. So that's the original, the original drawbar. It goes all the way up. That's just a wee bit of excess pressure in the ram, don't worry about that. <laughs> That'll go all the way up and behind her. That, that's far bigger. We actually buy, we actually went and put on a 
three point link. He sets them on the hours. Oh, did you? Straight ram, straight down, straight up, just to leave her a bit more practical. Yeah, yeah. It's a great, great, great job. Like the very beefy back ends on them, yeah. and then you you look at the lift arm system, and it's just it just doesn't look right, does it? They weren't designed for that, though. No, they weren't. No, they, they were weren't. designed for a draft tractor. That tractor there. I well, I think my forty seven. With this, the weights in the front sitting in there, but it's about a nine ton tractor. Oh, I bet it is, yeah. You know. See, there's a stand here that I need to definitely stay out of. Where's that? It's red. And in front of us. Oh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. <laughs> I have the, I don't use them, but I have the bug. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm the same. I'll just buy them. If something's cheap, I'll buy it. I buy away at the shit. Milwaukee stuff flat out. What you so need to do is you need to find out who the boss is. Once you find out who the boss is, then you need to ask how much are your free drills? Funny, I just Think got one of those wee compressors, wee air compressors. Is it any good? <laughs> wee Fiat 110 at a flat back wheel. I set her on, walked away, and she blew it up. Is it? That was a 30, that was a 30. Was she a 38 or a 34? I can't remember. But Milwaukee has just totally taken off. Yeah, well, I'd say they're fairly aggressive in their marketing, aren't they? Oh, Stuart, Stuart Trailers are there. Stuart Trailers is there, but they must be good, or everybody wouldn't buy them. What, the Milwaukee stuff? Yeah. I'd say it's good, all right. There's very little junk in the market anymore, though, isn't there? How are we getting on? Are you well? Ooh. So this is the new cab. So we had a 624. What do you think of the old McCormick? FPT they're, engine? They're supposed to be a good machine as far as I know, aren't they? I've never I've never actually driven one to be honest. With you. ZF gearbox? Yeah, well they're a good gearbox. Four stage Vario? Yeah. They're all heading that way. There's very little junk on the market now, isn't there? No. Very little junk. It's all about residuals now, isn't it? Yeah. Your monthly figure. Nearly. Dramon hitch. This here's where it's at. They're an astronomical price, aren't they? I wouldn't like to. Those unimogs. Lost oh, all. Like, look at that there. How is that not pure? Don't know about the green colour, like, but they might want to tip the spout up a wee bit before it <laughs> starts. Want, you want a new windscreen blade? <laughs> <laughs> and then these boys are back again, which is which is it's lovely to, to see. see. Back, isn't it? You know, I suppose one of the premier British shows, missing the kind of the premier British brand. Yeah. Well, it's good to see them back. They're fair pushing on with this icon. You've done a bit of work on the icons. You've drove them. Yeah, they're definitely the most comfortable machine out there, aren't they? <laughs> is, that Hard the, to... is that where the comments end? <laughs> well, if you have a bit of black tape, you stick it over all the flashy lights that are flashing at you. <laughs> I think a lot of the problems with these is they're trying to push electronics too much, aren't they? Technology is the well, new lost. Yeah, That's but... just where it's at. Technology and farmers don't necessarily go together, do they? No. <laughs> they can have their issues. There's a lovely bit of kit, the 420S. You had one of them out, didn't you? Pushing up? Oh, yeah. Lovely, lovely bit of kit. Well able to push? Yeah. Four, three, five, doing its thing. Well, that's a... Is that not a 457, that other one? The other one's a 457. And as far as I am aware, it has the new joystick steer on it. That's what Mark Troy bought, wasn't it? Mark Troy. Yeah, he bought a 457, yeah. Here's the one of the highlights of the show. The new CR11. Yeah, the X9 killer. Looks very exposed in the back end there, doesn't it? I have got this over here. Apparently, serious bit of kit. Unbelievable. They had it at Agrotechnica uh, under the gold scheme that they released it with, but... So there's some, is there some out there working? 
Well, this is the X9 killer. <laughs> it is genuinely an awesome looking bit of kit now. Oh. I think she'd pull a four for her. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what, if you look at the window, 0% finance, goes to show you there is deals to be had. Yeah. Boys need to sell plant. Yeah. Which is good. 66 decibels, apparently. If you can believe what they've wrote in the back window. <laughs> They're all that new cab is, that new cab is right. lovely now, to be fair. They'll all moan about the decibels and then go to a nightclub that night. Oh, I know, but that's different. That's different, yeah. That's different. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the, the, the new cab is lovely now, in fairness. In case. So, as I say, it's great to see these boys here again. Then Case has brought the big quad track over. 715 new quad the, track. I saw this coming in. Oh, she's a mentor. Although I think that 260 is a pretty class track as well. We were over at the factory a couple of months ago, watching yeah. them getting made. <laughs> Deja vu. Yeah, 778 horsepower in this. <laughs> this man here, he's just... You, is the seat like that good? Like? Compared to the I would say at three o'clock tomorrow there'd be a queue for it. <laughs> <laughs> Liter for acres, what you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, this is a lovely bag cat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. You buy a machine like that, you need so the proper machine to go on the back. Here, of stand you in here. You're six foot six. Six foot six. We'll show people. <laughs> we'll show people. Hey, look. Right, so this is an icon seat. This is the new icon seat. Get your bum in Have there. you driven one? I have, yeah. An icon. Did you like drove it? it? Drove the new one in Lord Bamford's estate. Oh, did you? Yeah. So, oh, not she's right. went away from the old, you can tap to get forward, yeah. pull to get slow down, cruise speeds up there, I suppose. And they've moved everything down yeah. here as opposed to the other one. The we other bit, one we was... bit like our John Deere. Yeah. That yeah. style of you can touch. So. And it's nice being able to lock these off because you're driving down the road there and you just hit it with your finger. Next thing, the trailer's going up behind you at 65k. But no, that's the... No, they've, 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 they've done a good job. But as they would tell you themselves, there's always work to do. And I think yeah. it's no... It's no... Uh, I don't want to say anything wrong, but I think the market needs an in-between tractor now from your... You have your 4220, which is maxing out that frame. You have your 8330. The market's moving towards this 300 horsepower, so they're very keen to see if JCB deliver on that. Hopefully they do. They're, but they'll do something in the middle. They'll have to. Because there's a market there for it. They'll have to, but... I don't see why they wouldn't. Hmm. Yeah, you never know. Stuart Trailers. KRM. They're a good trailer, aren't they? You Brilliant, uh, brilliant. Stuart Trailer. Family yeah. run business, good business. James and Mandy, great people. Whereabouts in Scotland are they? Inver, I'm going to say it with my Scottish accent if I get it right, Inverurie. Inverurie. <laughs> <laughs> Up the Aberdeen country. They sell a lot of stuff, don't they? They do. Missouri. This is a company I've come across a lot more lately. Yeah. How do you pronounce that? Missouri. I say Missouri. Yeah. I don't know. Well, it looks well made, doesn't yeah. it? I think it's... Look at the headstock on that. It's British built. So, they're looking at this, uh, more, I think, in the Mintel side and all that. Yeah, type well, they're probably huh? Clayton. Crohn's got the headphones out now. Everybody's getting a talk around everything in the yeah. stand. That's preparation. Positive steer, so she's front positive, and rear isn't she? steer, yeah. Snorkel. That's a lot of tanker now. Gosh. Five and a half thousand. <laughs> There's a big sip tether. One, two, three, she's four, big. five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a big tether. Right tag. Mass tag. Spread.
incredible. They've made life a lot easier for farmers, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Look at this here. We were over in Trioli. Big self-propelled. Jeez, look at the height that thing I is know. up there. I wouldn't want Eight to be. Eight meter cotton <laughs> height. I wouldn't want to be up there on a pit, would you? Oh, I would chance it. What? Gosh, it's a beast. Ha! Ah. Six wheel steering. She must steer six wheel. Oh, you see that height? Yeah, well, she's all steering oh, in all six inches. All steering there. Well, we all she can feed out either side. Yeah. R in the back, look. There's the inside of her. I think the efficiency Trail Eight can get, joking aside from the statistics done in feeding and mixing, mm. is pretty, pretty unsurpassed now. That thing there I put the 350 in its knees. Oh, I bet it did. Well, it was a 7 4 we tried, but that's the 8 4. So they're claiming it can chop right down to. 25 millimeter. She's 0% finance as well. They're all on 0% finance. Well, look, they? companies have caught up. There's no secret it was a bit slower last year. Companies won't want to, they won't want to give away anything. No. So they'll probably work on the finance, substitute it first. And if you don't want a Pottinger wagon or a Triolite, you can come here and get a straight one. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're supposed to be fairly Good machines as well. Aren't they? I, I I couldn't say much with Stroutman though. I like them. Manito Merlot. Is your cousin have one? Yes, cousin of mine has a big Stroutman feeder and a Stroutman wagon. I don't think it's Malone here. Oh, they're here. I promise you. So that's the exact same Tilly handler I have at home. Only it's Is a it? new updated model with a new fancy joystick. What do you think of her? I love the V27 6 we have. Do you? So, is she reliable? I, she's, for all I've done, but she's never put a foot wrong. Yeah. Manitou's here as well. Agri spread. A lot of stuff here now. There is a lot of stuff here. And we're not even a quarter of the way through it. I suppose we're not. No. Bonning, arguably one of the best muck spreaders you can buy in the UK. Yeah. Although I would say the K2, in fairness to them, give them a run for their money, don't they? When you think muck spreader, you really think K2 or Bunning, don't you? Yeah, you do, yeah. yeah. That's a nice big bit of, that's a nice big bit of kit there, boys. She's a big, she's very high, though. <gasps> she is so She's high. very high. Well, there's oh, oh, machines. oh. Oh, hi, on here. <laughs> I'm branded up. <laughs> I didn't even realise that. How are we getting on? Yeah, are you well? Yeah, right. CF Motos here. Look, look, look. And they never paid me to be here. <laughs> How are you getting on? I'm, I'm just enjoying watching you work. <laughs> We're getting into the... Can I actually sold my can -Am Oh, did you? And, and bought a CF moto. That's where the joke is there. And I told the boys in the deal I would brand the old hoodie. You know, I was trying to get it because it's not like I asked for it for free or anything. I never do. Yeah. But I told the boys, you know, if I helped, I would wear an old hoodie with a CF moto. But I'm only laughing because I actually am wearing it. wearing it. <laughs> so it looks like I've stood, stood to my word. Just make sure you edit that bit out now. <laughs> no. Never. <laughs> oh, there's your desire down there. I'm big green yoke. Sorry, bud. There's Deutz stand. Boy, oh, that's a big stand. That's a big stand, isn't Sammy it? Sammy Deutz far. Uh, they just, they won't. The fire grip. That's a big beast. It is, boy. Ah? Uh, it is, boy. Not big Deutz there in the corner. Ah. Another fine product out of Ireland. I'm sure all the good stuff comes out of Ireland. We'll agree on that. We can agree on that, yeah. 
<laughs> Look at the size of that car. Mate Bednar. Died. <laughs> the last time I seen a major stand, it was majorly flooded. <laughs> 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 At the plowing. Remember those tankers? 2,300 gallon. I know. And we, they were a beast. We thought Look they at were them big. now. Look at them now. You're looking at you're thinking. You're looking at a, a toy, but then we pull yeah. them with yokes that we probably shouldn't have been pulling them. Well, with. pulling them with 125s, TS 115s, aren't they? That's my The last time I was at a major stand, it was three foot in water. <laughs> Super job, hey, well done, well done guys, see you later. Another great Irish manufacturer. So what exactly are we doing here? So, you've obviously heard of our cyclone. Yeah. Rotary system, instead of a fly on for a hedge cutter. Yeah. If you're doing, let's say, normal one year growth, you'll send three litres of fuel in an hour compared to a fly on. There. So the bottom two blades do the coffee, and the top two do the munching. So it's the same setup as the bigger ones. Let's watch TV. <laughs> and let's say if you're in tree or grow, this thing savings are four litres of fuel an hour. And that head will fit on any major brand, like? Pretty much. There's the big fence stand. What's that all about? Oh, there's UTV lights. Oh, sorry. You're dead on. Let there be light. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Dee dee dee. Anywhere you'd get a cheap light about here. <laughs> Ask this Jack man, hey. Anywhere you'd it's get a fun, anywhere you'd get a cheap light. <sighs> you'd have to come back and ask at the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> See how it goes. Oh, we want a pre we <laughs> I hear there's gonna be a very poor turnout, hey, we want a pre show <laughs> pre show seal. <laughs> I think it's going very good. I think it's gonna be very good. Ah, sure, so when you have Case and New Holland and JCB all back, all back, makes a big difference. Yeah. Makes a big difference. Have you got walking around much yet? No, this is it. <laughs> this is it. I'm trying to get run around it now. So I have something. We were just about to phone you. Hey. I was. He was needing his bag. He was needing coffee. his bag. I am more tea garden. So I, I, I could do with a coffee. We have only got to here. I am. Aye. Look what he blagged! Stop and get a wee coffee there. Aye, I'd be a big fan of my own stuff. Fergal is over there. Sound man. Sammy from Lucky Day had him dancing like a wee tripper oh, did over at Agri Technica and then with Mick Hale. We'll go <laughs> this way. Propel. Ah, oh, dear. Yo, do you see what they did with the name? Propel. <laughs> it Propel. propels the grass. <laughs> <laughs> It's tidy now. Again, it's good I stuff. I think your trailed is better than your uh, lift arms. I think now. Yeah. I well, think I would it, keep it more stable. I think it? it works better. I don't know how to spray, but that looks like a sprayer. <laughs> a how are we going? <laughs> are we all good? <laughs> that's a proper sprayer. That's the one to buy. That is the, the market. That's the one to buy. The one to buy. The one to buy. Well, you'll be kept. <laughs> <laughs> So that is the one. The one. Why is that the one to buy, as opposed to that one? That's too wee. <laughs> I mean, that was obvious. Here, hope you have a great show. Thank you. How are you? Ben's here, chipping away at cancer. He bought that last year, Ben from Must Max. Oh, I see Viking hanging out over there. Yeah. Massey Ferguson hanging over here. Kabuta, big operation too. This is a company here. They'd love to do a bit, well, it's called Bad Cat though. Well, that's pretty cool, right? Like. But I think there's a market for that there. As you say, you pull that in, 
remote control, save a man, and I'm yeah. pretty sure, I know Big Jimmy made his own pump, right? And I'm pretty sure Big Jimmy's own pump that he made. A lot simpler than that, and you still have to be about it. It's not remote start yet. It uses a lot less fuel than through the tractor. Oh, I bet it does. So that's your 8S305. This baby here. <laughs> She's licensed. I think that's pure class. Is that well done, like? Yeah. I think that's a lovely tracker. 425 horse. So we say. What yeah. about these babies here? Do you know much about them? <laughs> yeah, they cost a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> There's Red Rock. Red Rock here, are they? Up down and see them, yeah. Yeah, more. It's pretty quiet running, isn't it? Spread point is here. <clears throat> Lovely oh, stand. Man. Is that all the wee bits for mopping up any oil spill oil or anything like that there? It must That's be the, what I uh, the oil there. There's Red Rock down in the corner. Impressive stand. Gosh, look at that. Well, Frank. Are you ready to rock and roll yet? Starting a big push on. Oh, tri axle trailer here. So, Frank was telling me there that they will be launching this trailer here at the show. Um, well, by the time this video is out, it'll have been launched. But, I suppose, we've got the rollover cover. I suppose it's a bit more of a traditional root crop style trailer. Probably, maybe a bit more suited to the English market, tri-axle sailage trailer. And Red Rock have been pushing a lot harder on these tri-axles, so it's a good job, great job. But I work an effort getting that all set up and in. 4,000 gallon. Here we'll have K2. K2 curve. <laughs> Smart. And that's their new pusher trailer. Up to 40% extra capacity. So you go, there you have it. As we run around, took us a while, but we got there. Keep our lip, and everybody, do remember.